Max MSP is a very important program that allows you to graphically program audio. And Flash, as you can see in front of you here, uh, Flash is that program that allows you to create animations on the internet, animations on the web. It's mainly known for making mathematically and computed graphics, graphics called vector graphics. But it can do a lot of other things as well. I chose Flash to use to connect to Max because it can create vector graphics, it can create um, bitmap graphics as well using pixels, and it can also collect information from text and many other sources. It can have information streamed to it as well. So it's a very diverse, very capable program. People who don't know how to program can use Flash just by drawing things into it as a whole environment for creating objects and creating things just by um, using typical paint program tools. So that's very nice. Additionally, as ability to um, be programmed and as a full-fledged programming language called ActionScript 3. So that's what I'm using here. And I'm looking at um, this actions frame which has all kinds of code written in it. So what am I doing with it? Well, I'm going to go here, flash open recent. So this is um, some code written by uh, Alex Riley. And uh, Alex Riley has taken um, information from nomedium.com, sorry, nomedium.de over here and ported it from the older version of this programming language, ActionScript 2, to the newer version, ActionScript 3. And this code basically connects Flash to MaxMSP and translates between the different types of communication protocols that the programs each have. So Flash um, communicates through TCP, and uh, has some reasons for that, for accuracy, basically. And that information is taken into Flash's XML socket. So Flash can receive XML information through its CCP board. And Alex Riley has written the updated version that allows uh, you to receive information in this way. Once you've received that information in your proper port, He's ported the previous version of the ActionScript 2 from no medium again. To break up all the information, takes this data from Max, and it splits it up to little parts that are usable by Flash. I've just taken those parts from this um, group of parts uh, called an array, and I've stuck it into different variables. These variables here, I can go ahead and use to stick it into whatever things I want for my flash object. What does that mean? I can take some type of visual thing. I can change its size or the way it's moving around the screen, this type of thing. I can change that using variables. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to send information to these variables from max MSP. So this right here, this right here, and this right here. These are three different variables that are assigned to flash variable one, two, and three. So here in flash variable one, two, and three, I'm gonna receive information and be able to control the visuals in flash. So let's see where those are here in this in this function, which is just something that does something. I'm able to control the the height of the circle, which I call cell, by flash variable one, the width by flash variable two, and I'm able to um, control where it is on screen by flash variable three. 
I can control any parameter I decide to that is able to be controlled by this object if I just put a variable in there. So if I hit Apple, enter, or the equivalent on PC, it produces this lovely circle. Then I'm going to go over here to max now. I can change the size of that circle with the first variable. See the height is changing. And here I change the width. I can also change its position on screen, its X position, using this third variable. If I hit zero, it stops where it is because it really just changes how fast it's increasing its X position. So zero, nothing. One or two, every two pixels, and so on. Let's move it back a bit. Okay. Also good another thing here. In Max, um, I've created a little uh, little patch that allows me to take that variable information and allows me to, let's turn this volume down a little bit, allows me to assign the x value of this flash circle to Max's frequency here. So watch this frequency. Let's move it down a bit still. I move it to the right and the frequency goes up. To the left it goes down. Over here there's just a scale object which maps the scale of motion of this this circle here to something that makes sense to an audio frequency in max. Now much more exciting things could be done of course if you have a velocity and automatic uh, movement of this circle. Then as this circle and as other circles move you'll be able to have multiple frequencies coming into max and different sounds being played that aren't quite predictable so you have some aleatoric elements. So that's connecting a sound to a visual object in flash. We're using flash server which is developed at www.nomedium.de backslash dev backslash flash server, which is an external to the Max MSP program for free, and which has been updated generously by Alex Riley, who can be found at alexriley.net. So thank you for taking interest in listening to this podcast. If you have any questions or would you like to know more about this type of thing, please feel free to leave me a message on my site or contact me at my email.